first of all, I want to say that I just, I love Ultra. I love Ultra. I love the interface. I love the drag and drop functionality. I love the whiteness of it as opposed to the maroon and gray. So I just think, I think it's one of the best developments we've seen since I've been at UALR for 15 years. I can't say enough good things about it. The encouraging words I would have are, if you're gonna start teaching your course in the fall, start prepping your course in June. I mean, take a few weeks off, but do the prep and then keep going back and, and just learning and relearning the tools. But, but don't do this on two or three weeks notice. Don't wait until August to start this process. I think you need to plan for the amount of time that the learning is going to take. Build in, I'm going to make mistake time. Okay? But also even before you even look at Ultra, I would say get your course planned out. Know exactly the tools that you're going to use, at least for the first few weeks. Because I think what you're going to find is that the more pre-planning you've done even before you get into Ultra, the faster it's going to go. So you want to show X video, you want to have this discussion board set up. At least for the first two or three weeks, have all that stuff documented well in advance and have the order that you want it to be put in into your course shell. And then also the key thing is um, have very clearly stated and easily measurable learning objectives that will guide all the work that you're doing. And if you've got those three components, the learning objectives and, let's see, the learning objectives and the content for the course, those two will help the whole process of Ultra, which is the third component, flow a lot better.